anyway, I go ahead and I get Gorilla a job on the movie. Mm-hmm. All right, my intern Gorilla wanted a job on the movie. Uh, my 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 burning desire is to work on your movie. Please, please, please. Yeah, so Gary comes here this morning and tells me um, Steve can't be on the movie Friday because uh, something more important has come up. Which is? I don't know. He, he, something about him uh, auditioning or something for a role or something on Friday. What's your story, douche? I, well, why don't you resign from I, the movie? Why well, resign? I, I just I got lucky. Something happened. And what I, happened exactly? Because Gary's telling me about it. I don't even understand. What are you talking about? <sighs> He, he auditioned for some TV show or something. I, I, I got a... Because... The, thanks to you. Because yeah. of the E! show. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Friday, thanks they... To, but, what, what, did you make a commitment to do this movie? Can, can I explain this? Look... So did you call the movie people? Or are you having Gary yet. do that what? for you? No, absolutely not. I handle my own business. You do handle I didn't ask Gary to do anything. All right. I can't believe Gary opened his big fat mouth. Well, but Gary has to tell me, Steve. I know, I know but this doesn't make... If you're not, not going to be... Look, 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 look. I was going to handle look. it first. If they had a problem, I would absolutely... My loyalty is to the people who gave me a job... And that's the people at the movie. So if your loyalty is to the job, why are you not showing up on Friday? I don't, because I'm going to talk to them first. I have to talk to them. And what if they tell you you can't go? Then I don't go. You, then you well, don't go? I, I, but, but listen to this. It's no. just, it's the show, or the E! show on Friday was me at Grandma Sylvia's funeral. Right. Somebody was watching it and thought that I, it's this, I don't want to mention the name or anything like that, but I'll let you know off the air. Some big time person that puts out TV shows, his producer saw me on the show and thought I might be interested, f- you know, for a role on this upcoming TV series. Right. You they, think you're really going to get it? I have no idea. But right. you know what? I don't know. And that's the thing that. And what are they going to do? They're going to fly you out and audition you? They, I, I auditioned yesterday and they happen to really like me and they want me to come out immediately to come out and audition um, on Saturday. Oh, so now you're going to be a big TV star? No, I'm you not. Think gonna, you're gonna, you think you're really going to well, get a but, part? But, but what if I do? So you what think if? you're going to get a part, so now you sacrifice your movie job? I busted uh, my balls for you to get you a movie job. Now you're running off. With your, you, you know you're not going to get this part. You know you're not. But uh, how do I know that? Look, if they don't want you know to how do- you know you're not going to get the part? Because you stupid twerp, John was scamming you. That was no real audition. Oh, really? Yeah, right. <laughs> that was, I said this sounds I, I like said, a setup. John, Stuttering John calls me last night. He goes, I didn't tell anybody this, but I scammed Gorilla. Oh. I go, that what was, did you do? Uh, you know what? Best scam I ever happened. That's right. What did he do? I mean, Gorilla actually went and entered. I mean, he auditioned. John hired a bunch of his friends to audition Gorilla. Oh, Gorilla got really? all excited. Oh. <laughs> Who was the big person oh. who called I, I, him? I, 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 and John is so vicious. Even I like, thought this was cruel. He's like, no, I, dude, that was that was person. the best scam ever. I thought you were upset with John because he always targets you on all of his scams. What, do you know what? I, I can't even be mad at him because that really? was perfect. <laughs> so right away you were throwing away your movie. I job. wasn't. Th- well, what can I do? See what I mean? A little no, two timer. Tell me who. who Big name. He was Stephen Bochco. <laughs> so listen to this. Listen to this. Oh, that's funny. John, this, uh, John calls me on the side. He goes, I, I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell anyone because you guys would ruin it. I, <laughs> that I is got the most whole, brilliant scam ever. I got a whole bunch of my friends together oh, to audition man. Gorilla. They called him up about a Stephen Bochco thing. <laughs> he, they got him down there singing, oh, crying. Do you singing. have yeah. this on oh. tape? Yeah. They got him, yeah, we got it all on tape. Oh, man. <laughs> and John was so proud of it. That's the that. most elaborate scam that anybody had ever pulled. Boy, we were. We were thinking you were going to kick John's ass because Ralph comes in. He goes, no. "Man, if he did that to me, I'd kill him. <laughs> I would just kill you him." You know what? I, I just because every there was n- there was no way of like. So I saw Gorilla this morning, all, all happy. No, I was yeah, happy. So I was funny. happy because no, no, no. I was happy because of my eyes. I, no, 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 no. no. Right. Last night Gorilla called me because I had a friend. Mike Ruffalo. <laughs> He's even calling right? the conspirator. Yeah. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. yeah, he called. He called John. He goes, "I think it." I, I, he goes a couple of days ago. He goes, "I thought it was a scam at first, but I called back and I saw it was a real production company." John even had like special answering machines. <laughs> oh, I know. Man. That's what. Sick, like yeah. you know, like how, when you check everything out. I even had someone else call. All right, you want to hear his audition? Yes. All right, here's Gorillo auditioning for John and his buddies. John, this has to be your coup de grace. <laughs> Gorilla thought someone saw him on TV. <laughs> but why not? Why not? Your show reaches so many people. Yes, but like, if they that, saw what, you, Gorilla, what? they would never call. I said to Ralph this morning, these guys all think they're going to be famous actors. No, I don't. But hey, Boff is acting. Why don't we become <laughs> actors? Howard, last night Gorilla called me and he called me like nine o'clock. John. They actually call me. I might have the part. I'm so psyched. I'm flying to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> so he was Definitely. already gone. I, dude, Definitely. you guys got me. Got I me didn't totally. do anything to do with it. You you none of us me. had anything to do with it. John, John did, did it all yeah. by John. himself. John did it all on his own. John <laughs> called us all last night and told us everything. John I typed the script, Grill. You know the script you read? That's my script. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> I saw it got a little embarrassing. John, tell him the script. I, you, tell the, him the script. I, 
First of all, you know, the, uh, you know, it, he uh, it's, the, the show's called Flatbush Avenue. Uh-huh. So I figured Grill would be right, perfect. Right. He's got to quack like a duck. He's got to sing "Staying Alive." <laughs> he's got to cry. He's got to yell. He, uh, you know, he's got a fake every, orgasm. Every, every douchey thing that they make me do, uh, they make you do in auditions. <laughs> the uh, best thing, Howard, is that on the script there's this girl named Josie, and Grill's supposed to moan and say Josie. Hmm. So Grill is on this audition, and he's moaning, going, "Oh, Jose!" Oh, I Jose. couldn't see. I told you, I was like, oh, Jose. I was nervous, and I think she got the part. Howard, yeah. I don't think I got the part, but I. I thought it was kind of cool what that they it? even considered it. It starts out on this with uh, whoever is this woman that John set up to be the casting director. Yes. She calls Steve here and sets it up. She's here if you want to. Okay. She yeah, also, she can come in. Come she's also in. the one that auditions him. All right, the yeah. casting director can yeah, come in. Yeah, she's from Tony and Tina, Sharon Angela. All right. <laughs> that is so John funny. has a lot of free time on his hands since his record bombed to uh, sit and scam everyone. Come on in. Oh, yeah, real cute. Right. Great, yeah. I wouldn't even recognize them. Oh, really? <laughs> so you are the person who auditions Steve? I'm the wicked one. Now, how did you keep from uh, laughing when you... Well, uh, when he said the Jose thing, that was kind of funny. But, right, uh, right, right. I just kept it straight because it was a good little, you know, fun uh, joke. All right, so here's Gorillo <laughs> auditioning for his big Stephen Bochco series. <laughs> but why but why wouldn't I go to an you know, audition if someone's you ain't going to be not. You, you know what you are? What? You are my Gunga Din. You know, I he, always will be. I, you know, right. but, but why not? thing is easy because he sees you. No, right, right. Robin, he's excuse me. I think, I, I think I've done a little more think. acting than you. Okay? That's what all these guys right, think. Right. He's yeah. done a little more acting than I have. There you go. Everyone we have around here is a star. You haven't acted yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, here we go. Hello. Hi, is Steve there? Hey, this is Steve. This is Hi. Sean. Yes, I'm Hi. from Tribeca Casting. How you doing? Good, thank you. I'm casting a new pilot, a Stephen Boschko pilot called Flatbush Avenue. And one of our um, producers saw you on E! Friday night and recommended that I call you for a part. Um, really? Would you be interested in coming in and auditioning? Sure. Okay, we're holding auditions uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Which day might be better for you? Um, which Wednesday and which Thursday? Of this week. Um, which Wednesday and which Thursday? Which, which Wednesday, Wednesday are we Wednesday, talking which about? Thursday. Which Wednesday and Thursday? <laughs> Time tomorrow. Well, we're looking at 11 to 2. I have like a 12 15, 12 30 slot open. Could you make one of those times? Um, I believe so. Okay, and um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's the character is Frankie Palanca, and he's like a 20 year old Italian kid, like the life of the party, very outgoing kind of guy. You know, it's, it'll be pretty simple. Mm-hmm. And um, so, would you like to take down the address? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll do that. Listen to the actor. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm uh, very busy. Well, at this yeah. point, I, 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 this is the initial call, and I'm really You're not. You're nervous. I'm, I'm a little nervous, and I'm also not buying it. Right. <laughs> See, it's so weird because <laughs> we get to, like, everybody here is getting, like, scammed one way or another. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because we're up in Howard Stern Show, and people like to put on, like... Oh, well, I'm not too familiar with that. Yeah, okay, so what's your answer? I'm not too familiar with scamming you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm about to be. You played it really good, because that's how people like who don't even listen to the show are like, you know, oh, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. I think the funniest part was no one really knew how to pronounce Stephen Bosco per- correctly. <laughs> yeah, right. So we were going, Bosco, Bosco, Bosco. Bosco. It quickly, yeah. <laughs> it's um, in between church and Broadway. Church and Broadway? Mm-hmm. And you can see my assistant, Diane. Diane? Yes, and she'll have side. That's good because everybody has yeah. a, an, an assistant. assistant yes. Yeah, everyone has an assistant. You have to have an assistant. Right. Diane? Diane? Yes, and she'll have sides for you. Okay. And we will be putting you on tape. Now, do you have an agent? No. And are you SAG? No. Okay, then um, I'll see you tomorrow. If there's any problems, you can reach me at this number. Okay. Thank you very I'll much. Call you tomorrow before I leave. Pardon me? I'll call you tomorrow before I leave. Oh, no, you can just come down. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> but everything I checked out. Right. Everything checked out. I, I sure did. John was very thorough. John, this yeah, is unbelievable. So, so what we did, Grillo told me, he goes, you know, I don't know, but I'm going to have my friends call. So I, ha- I, told, I called Sharon, listen, he's going to have friends call, so make sure you have it on your machine and make sure you call back his friends. Right. <laughs> so Sharon called back his friends. And <laughs> <laughs> so, but, like, that's exactly why. I just got to hear your audition, that's all. Okay, go all ahead. Right. I, you know what? I, you you got to do those things at auditions, so screw it. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Here we go. There's Grillo. Hi. Hi. Good. He was good? Yeah, in the middle. He got good in the middle. He did, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
I was so nervous so as hell. Shh, be quiet. I can't hear the tape. I, I want to talk it up to myself. you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you're doing. You don't know what it's going to sound yeah, like. Yeah, what? You know, you're missing a big thing here, how elaborate it was. You know, Gorilla goes to this audition, and John hired all his Tony and Tina's friends to be, like, in the waiting room. So there's a wow. bunch of people auditioning. Wow. They oh, you mean you got more than just... We actually had one person audition before Gorilla, so, yeah. the, so Gorilla heard the other guys audition. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Got, and they got him upstairs, too, like they're keeping him up, because he came a half an hour early. Oh. He did? So we, you know... Always come early, the uh, Oh, audition. God, we had all the E guys just putting cameras all over the place, and he's buzzing, so <laughs> I had oh. Diane spring the sides upstairs. Oh, let me hear this. Oh. You can stand, sit, whatever. I'm going to do it twice. I can't understand okay. it. We're starting on the second page, right? Oh, now we can. Yeah. And just have some fun. Okay? Could you say your name, please? Steve Grohl. Okay, whenever you're ready. Boo! Who's that? Frankie, Ma. What'd you think? Donald Duck? Frankie, stop your playing around. I need you to look after Maria. Don't worry, Ma. I'm Frankie Polon Polonka? Is it Polonka? <clears throat> Don't worry, Ma, I'm Frankie Polanka, Lord of Flatbush. Aspen, Aspen, please, no more, Frankie, I'm serious. Ma, Marie's only going, Ma, Marie's always going out with Garbone, she's a slut. If your father was alive and heard you, what then, huh, what then? He would have been alive, <clears throat> he would have been alive if you haven't never. What audition is this, you haven't gotten one sentence out. I can't spit it out, I'm nervous as hell. I was great once I settled in. <laughs> what? I was great once I Every settled in. Every sentence he's flumfering over. Did you look yeah. at the script before you read I, it? A, a little bit, yeah. I, I just, I don't know. I was nervous. <laughs> Did you ever audition? You, you, yeah. You, okay, so you've been nervous before. Sounds like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've heard tape. Is the script in English? <laughs> what? I've heard know, Dave. I, I've I, heard I, Dave. I'm, what I, your I, day, bub? What your day, I've bub? I've never auditioned before in my life. I do so much. Why don't we start again? Yeah, yeah it's cool. I, this is my first audition. I've never done That's all right. Just let it go. Let it loose. All right. Have fun. All right. Okay. You're still on. Whenever you're ready. Boo. Who's that? Frankie, Ma, what'd you think? Donald Duck? Frankie, stop your playing around. I need you to look after Maria. Don't worry, Ma. I'm Frankie Polanka, Lord of Flappers. That's bad, that's bad. Please, no more. Frankie, I'm serious. Ma, Marie's always going out with Garbone. She's a slut. If your father was alive and heard you, what then, huh? What then? He would have been alive if you haven't nagged him so much. I hate this. Here we go again. I say something, you cry. Too much guilt. I can't take it. Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? You bastard. You took my daddy. <laughs> I didn't write it. Where's your daddy? Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? It's the gorilla. <laughs> Where's my daddy? <laughs> Where's my daddy? Wait, did, you, did you really get him to doing some dumb stuff? Yeah. He was supposed to, at this point, when, when he said Lord of Flatbush, he was supposed to take his shirt off and flex, and he was right. supposed to quack as Donald Duck. She did. didn't let me. <laughs> no, oh, you didn't do what? it. What? First of all, the first guy didn't do it. When I got there, that, that part, you have to admit, you screwed up on. You could have had me. I would have done it. I would have had my shirt off. Why'd you start I quacking like a duck? Camera, and I would have quacked. Did you really want this part? I, I didn't know. I, you know, it seemed to all check out. I said, what the hell? Let me hear this. <laughs> I just want to hear you do dumb stuff. Yeah, don't worry. He'll be singing. Took my dad. Okay. Now, do you have the one with Louie? Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, let's, let's go on. That was good. All right? Okay, we're still on. Um, okay, I'll, I'll do Louie. What are you doing? You sound like half a fag. Better than a whole fag you are. I ain't no fag. You see Donna moaning when I'm doing her? She's faking. You can't fake an orgasm. Of course you can. I even faked it when I was all drugged up. Come on, Maron. I can't imagine what it sounded like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing now? Faking an orgasm? <laughs> oh. Jose. Jose. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're a devil. Jose. Oh, it's supposed to be Josie, right? I, I couldn't see it. I didn't read it. Man. Jose. 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 Oh, Jose. Ooh, I want you a Jose. <laughs> a couple of days. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. That's it? No, no, then they bring him back in to sing. Oh. Yeah, what happened was the E guys came downstairs and they said, you forgot to get him to sing, get him back in. Yeah. So I had my friend uh, Billy, um, he was auditioning, and I asked Steve to come back in and work with Billy. So he All right, said, let me hear that. Do you mind? No, I appreciate it. Just, just the, the scene with uh, Frankie and Louie, and then I'll do along with him. And you guys should have had him getting naked. No, no, no. It, it was in there, it was in there, but, you know. <laughs> 
I couldn't be there, you know. All right. It's too cruel. I mean, uh, the beginning is what? What? What is it? He's, he's singing. singing uh, so far, you haven't made him do that much dumb yeah, stuff, really? John. For all the trouble you went to, you kind of screwed it no, up. On, on the script, there was. He's supposed to quack. He's supposed to take his shirt off. But yeah. you know, I, I, yeah. you, know, I you know, I couldn't. You know what? Be there. You know what? Next time you should consult us before you do this stuff. Well, well listen to this. The, 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 you know, this is good. You, you went to all this trouble, and the guy isn't doing anything that dumb. You some creativity in there. You have yeah. to see the tape. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, well, I mean, well, excuse me. This is radio. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where is this? They were working to the camera. You know what, Gorilla? I'm going to change my whole attitude on this. I think John's the screwball. Come on, let's hear him singing. <laughs> well, I, I know I can't sing. I was going John to called me up all last night excited, got me completely pumped up. He goes, I just pulled off the scam of the century. I go, well, what is it? Because I got Gorilla down there to audition. You should see him. He's quacking like a duck. No, he's I, I freaking he out. He's singing. He's he's doing all kind of weird crap. And I'm like, well, where is all this? John broke his balls for five days, and Gorilla went to an audition. For right, and did minutes. an audition Just for 20 minutes and screamed, Daddy. Play the tape. Play the tape. <laughs> John. Howard, I... You're a screwball. <laughs> Could you play the tape? You know what, Gorilla? What? You had an audition. You did fine. Don't play the Can tape. I have hey, Howard, I, I, I I'll play the tape. Yeah. Uh, let me hear. So okay. far, I haven't heard a thing. Oh, please. I haven't. Oh, please. Oh, Jose. Yeah, but that wasn't it. I mean, somebody could have said, no, 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 no. I need you to do it more real. And had him really moan. Yeah. You know, you really could have worked you could have, it. You could have jerked him. Well, I, I, I couldn't be there because I had to, I had to be here. Yeah, but you wrote well, the script. Well, then you have yeah. to prime No, on the script, actors. he's supposed to be quacking. On I the... can't believe all the trouble you went yeah. to, well, I, and you didn't uh, get a good bit out of it. Just play the yate. The dope. casting director should have said, there's a quack in there. I, I, she would have done it. I would have done it. Well, that's, that's the what sick I'm thing. They didn't work you. So far, it's Gorillo eight, John three. Yeah. Well, let's take a vote from the audience. Well, just play it. All right, let me hear the singing. Uh, of course, he thinks he's going to Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. What you did? He did fine. <laughs> well, he's brushing his hair and singing. Yeah, let's have some fun with that. I'll walk in on him. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's not too big because it's yeah. you know just so just uh, whenever you're ready, camera's rolling and have have some fun. That's funny. That's funny. You sound like half a fag here, you know? Better than the whole fag you are. Hey, I ain't no fag. You should see Don and Madonna when I'm doing her, huh? <laughs> She's faking it. Hey, you can't fake an orgasm. I don't know. I, I think John blew it. Yeah, he's Howard, not enough I had this all this stuff John, in John, there. listen yeah. to me. You went through five days yeah. of trouble. You lined up all your friends from Tony and, and Tina's wedding. Numbers. You got phone numbers. You did everything. You got all And you got a sucky bit no, out of it. Admit it. Howard, I'll, admit it. No, I'll admit it's a thing. bomb. It's not a bomb. I'm, I'm not laughing. You were laughing the whole time. You've, you've been listening Forced to me. laughing at the setup. Oh, I'm trying to sell the bit. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sitting here panicked that I'm, I'm now 20 minutes into this thing. I haven't I had a laugh. laugh. In the script... It was crying. There was, uh, he's supposed to be Where quacking. is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, John. It doesn't matter what's in the script. What's on the tape? Yeah, I wasn't th in I the script. He's going to keep telling you about the script. <laughs> now he's going to blame somebody. John, no, not it somebody. sucks. All right, well, Gary, it sucks. Uh, you're going to have to blame me for not making him quack. Yeah. But why don't you tell the story about the girlfriend that called about five or six times? Well, what good oh, is it? I, I, I had my, my friend call up. Well, she's... why not? Because he wants to know if it's a scam or not. And then she wants to send me her picture and resume. So what's wrong with that? She's an actress, too. there's no casting agency. Well, yeah, but, sure, but, but, <laughs> if you set up a number and you call up and then that's But where's the bad. joke? Hey, you're on the air. Yeah, Howard. Am I right here? Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, John <laughs> ruined it. We're wasting our time. You know what? Fine. John, John. That. You think this is funny? Yeah. What is funny about it? The guy did an audition. You didn't get him to do anything weird. Wait, he's he moaning, sang two he's singing. He he's moaned screaming. For two he seconds. moaned for two seconds. He did it pretty convincingly. And he sang for two seconds. Yeah, I'm not laughing. Well, then fine. Then I didn't do a good job. Yeah, I, I mean, the, know, you, John must have been on acid thing, and that was. Did funny. you hear the phony phone call Howard made yesterday, yeah, where he had a guy fine. agreeing to get concrete yeah, put up poured into his butt? Well, I did, well, it had to be someone. Yeah, but you real, gotta have so jokes. Break him the, so you know, why did you call me, Jackie, and Fred, and we'll sit and position it for you if you got something good going? Because because you had to act on your own. I do these things on my own. I do yeah, them well, on my own. There's a mistake when you do it on your own. They're not fine. funny. All right, fine. You're not a funny guy. Yeah, well, I, you're the guy who thinks he's you funny, but he's not. You're a practical joke, but you're the only one getting a laugh. Yeah. Oh, come on. I thought it was very funny. Yeah, but no offense, you, you were in on tape. it. You have to see I, if you see the tape, you know. I know, but it's radio, Johnny. Howard, in the I, listen to me, it John. Was, he was supposed to be yelling, crying. He was supposed to. Um, he was supposed to take his shirt off. He and was, flex. but you didn't get it. So you should have said I bombed. I can't put this on the air. Well, you know, I I, I didn't listen. I, I haven't heard it. Hi, you're on the air. 
Hey, Howard, how you doing this morning? All John, right. John Blewett. Yeah, of course. I mean, come on. What is this guy? I mean, these people get to work with the king of all media. No, John, they... did you know what? John called me last night. Excited. I should have taped that. And he raved about they what told he me. He goes, really fun. Howard, I pulled the scam off of the century. I go, <laughs> yeah, what'd you do? He goes, I got Gorilla auditioning. He's doing crazy stuff. Wait till you play it on the air. So I go, yeah, you know what? Where's the crazy stuff? I go, John, stuff? you're brilliant. That's fantastic. Good, good scam. Okay, great. I'm listening to this tape. You didn't get him to do anything. Where's the crazy stuff? I, I would have done he's it. He's saying staying alive for three seconds. When are they, they going to learn that they, they have to... They well, have that's that's John who, you know, who says, oh, I can do a radio show. He's I can do this. I'm as funny as Howard. What is it, Doug? Come on. The sole reason I did it for was the You show. wrote a crummy script. It wasn't. It, it sounds like a script. so much embarrassing stuff. I have the script in my bag. You want it? What yeah. did he do? What is I've he covered, doing? I've covered all John, emotions. John, John, it yeah. didn't work, though. You don't even have any ability to know. It's not funny. But, no but I wasn't there. There's no pay. What's the payoff? The guy said staying alive for two seconds? No, the payoff is that he didn't know it was a scam until today. And why, then, didn't you, why didn't you ask me, Jackie, and Fred to write the script? Because you think you're as funny as we no, are. Because no, you had a good idea. Your idea was, hey, let's get Gorilla into a phony audition. Great, I'm proud of you. But hand it over to some funny people. I have to say, it's my fault for not getting him to quack. I, I yeah, but I would. Yeah, but that's nothing to do with better it. stuff in there too. This guy sweating. I mean, I at a point I felt really bad. Come on, don't be big I and bad ner- right now. Man. I was nervous he as was, hell, but he yeah, but he didn't talk. do anything embarrassing. And I would have quacked though. Him How him to do I did. If you see the tape, I actually started to do it, and she cut me off. You're full of it. I went. I went. You cut me off. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? Should have at least tried to get him to reveal his private parts. Anyway, of course. Yeah. Trying to get him to do gay stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the I idea of a scam is to push would've him pushed me, and push him, right? What? The idea of a scam is to push him and yeah. push him until yeah. finally he goes, so wait a minute. Fox right. No, no, no. We wanted for controversial to, no, television. They could have had him Howard. audition in the big So what is he saying? Half a fag? Big no, deal. No, no, no. We wanted him to still believe John, it was real. John, until, John, until, uh, John, until, uh, John, until, uh, John. It, he believed so much that it was real that it wasn't funny. You had him. Howard. The scam should have been revealed there. He was they need they, no, they need no, your expertise wait. and Jackie's. They need, he needs. There's nothing uh, funny he going help. on. There's nothing funny going the on. The only way it works, you see how Gorilla's not even upset. Because well, he knows he didn't do anything no, stupid. No, he was. He, uh, He's you know, not I, even I, upset. What did you say? You said you go on an audition, you do stupid stuff yeah. all the time. So. I figured what is it, know? Doug? <laughs> Doug's from E. John, John put a lot of work into it, and he did really good. When we were talking on the phone about it, it, it was hysterical. Yeah. But when we got there, you know, we were... It didn't work. Because, no know, material. Sharon, you needed the material was, from Howard. just didn't go with it. it no, you got to have yeah, somebody yeah, who's yeah, funny writing the script. Stuff to, the script was fine, Howard. Yeah. The Even script. the way, you know, remember the scam we pulled last week on John with Ozzy Osbourne? Right. We made sure of what Ozzy was going to do. We did a payoff. Yeah. They don't just don't understand, Howard. You're the man. I you know, are the man. Well, well, it- we didn't just let Ozzy go with it. We rehearsed him and rehearsed him and rehearsed him. Yeah, I mean, you, you spent five days and you got nothing. You, got, like, went fishing and came up with a rubber boot. <laughs> oh. oh! Whatever, you know, I... I Dude, you I tried, but you know what? We shouldn't have even put this on the air. We should have just Wasted called it a wash. Time, Howard, Wasting I mean, my time. The whole audience is sitting here ready for a great scam. I, I don't, I don't think it was go that ask some questions. What, what do you think was funny about it? Oh, Howard, come Tell on. me what you thought was funny. I'm being dead serious. What do you think was funny about Grillo it? Grillo screaming I thought was funny. Grillo moaning I thought was funny. this show... Let me... Despite all you interns and what you think, this is not amateur hour. I know it's not. Let me tell you something. It's the same reason. The reason when I'm on the movie set, now everyone's an actor. Everyone's this, everyone's that. Yeah. There's, a, there's a big difference. Uh, all right, listen. Either you be. got it or you don't. Uh, listen to me. Listen to me. Uh-huh. The problem why most radio shows don't work out, it's guys who think they're funny and they aren't. Mm-hmm. Either God blesses you with humor or he, he doesn't. Mm-hmm. I was just lucky. I hit the lottery. Mm-hmm. You could have at least run this by Jackie. Run it by somebody funny. <laughs> Howard, the script was funny. It's John, nothing. what is funny? I'll, funny? I'll play. I'll play it again. Tell me where I'm supposed to be laughing. Howard, you know what? If, oh, John, if, if it was an amateur hour, if he would have been here. quacking, if he would have been crying, it would have been fine. I don't know that quacking would have been that. But big like she didn't even. She could have. Ronnie, the you Ronnie, could've. is this you? Uh oh. Ronnie. Hello. Yeah, Ronnie. Yeah, how you doing? Hi. I want to let you know that I haven't heard you mention John in relation to your movie recently. Is he involved with the movie at all? No. Because maybe he's just doing this to try to get attention. Oh, you know this is King Big of All Black. Black. Big Blackie. Yeah. Big Black. <laughs> How do you think John's looking for attention? Nah, yeah, nah. I think he's jealous. Ah. There could be something to oh. that. You know, he oh. always says, oh, go off and do your movie stuff today. You yeah. Know, oh, so how about the now? other, how about, how about all the other private controls? I guess they were just because I wanted to. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But man, you blew it. Admit you blew it. But it's not funny. No. Well, There's nothing funny about it. 
She could have had me doing a lot more. Of like course. If she, I would have like screamed and moaned and wailed. I would have took my shirt off and I would have quacked. She yeah. could have. She could have motivated but me to did do things. Scream and moan. Barely. And wail it could have been. But it, it wasn't funny. I sweated because we can't I, hear sweating. I, you can't hear sweating. I know. I was going mainly for the camera. I mean, if you. You could have had me take my shirt off. You could have said, "Okay, could you rip your shirt off? Let me see your." All right, Gorilla. You know what? You're another unfunny guy. Don't tell her what she could have done because you would. You're unfunny too. I felt bad for you, man. Big mistake. What is it, Gary? You know what I just found out? All the guys are sending me in here to say this. You know who co-wrote the script? Who? Uh, Mrs. Melendez. Not oh, John, okay. Not John. There you go. The new, the new, the new star on my show. You work with Stuttering John's that's wife. That's not true. That's not true. But we, Howard, I try to get every emotion possible. Crying, no, you did. Yelling, uh, moaning, uh, singing. John, I'll well, say it again. Why not preview it before it's you play for Howard? It's the new comedy team. Yeah, I'll say I it again. I'll say it Melendez again. Melendez and Melendez. I'll say it again. You <laughs> called me last night. You decided to do something on your own. It was a great idea. Yeah. A great idea. I told you. Great idea. Can't wait to hear it. Uh-huh. Now in hearing it, uh-huh. so aside like from it, huh? me forcing myself to laugh during the, the uh, uh-huh. Josie. That's not true. Oh, please. That's not L- true. Listen, I'm sitting here desperate. I don't want the audience to tune out. Uh-huh. I'm sitting there. I'm hearing tons of garbled you know dialogue. Maybe- First of all, e- A's got to work on taping this stuff better. Yeah, where do they put the camera? Yeah, well, where do you put the microphones? Get it near the guy. The clip, put a clip yeah. on microphone on him. It's an audition. You can do that. And certainly you could plant a microphone on the woman. And why do you have to hide cameras? It's an audition. You tape them. Of course. Sure. They're hiding the camera. He had a camera, and he was taping. So then why is the sound so god-awful? I, I, I guess that's, that's, the e, that's E Television Network, the new production facility on the uh, West Coast. Listen, not only is the production horrible, the execution of a very good idea is ruined. The script you wrote is so unfunny, and Gorilla isn't funny in it because you're not making him do anything. He's He's fine in it. He's supposed to do things. The whole premise is wrong. Hi, you're on the air. This is Ahmad. Hi. uh, How are you, Howard? This is my boss. You know, I wanted to say that... uh, But this is your boss? No, you. You are my boss. Pardon me? Oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is your she boss. She's shaking her head like she, you know, you know, you know, like sweetheart. Me up. I'm know? a comedian, okay? I know what's funny. This is not funny. I know you think this is funny. It's not funny. Is she an actress? Are you Howard? an actress? Yes. Howard. Have you ever had a director just tell you point blank what to do in a scene? Oh yeah. yeah. All right, that's yeah. what he's Howard. doing now. This isn't comedy. This is tragedy. Oh. Howard. Yeah. He doesn't have a clue for the business. He's been working with you for such a long time, you would think he would have a clue as to what would be marketable as <laughs> compared to what isn't. Right. I mean, this guy is a lot of over good here. Wait a second. I really tell you think that you should find a new stuttering No, no, no. Dog. Let me tell you something. I like the initiative that John took. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Up to a All point. Right. Uh-huh. He always he goes, he, he got a good idea. He uh-huh. should come to me, Jackie and Fred, if you're going to go waste get resources. You guys to polish it. Let us polish it. Right. Let us work. In fact, give us your script and we'll work on it. It's a collaborative yeah. thing. And let me tell you something. Uh-huh. I do a lot of bits. Sometimes I write a bit with Fred and Jackie. Yeah. I go out and do it. I listen back to it and I say, you know what? Uh-huh. This was a great idea that didn't work. Away. And I throw it away. I could, I could name 5,000 bits you that I've thrown away. You got to admit defeat. You, I hear you, you admit defeat. <laughs> John has never done a bit that he hasn't loved. Uh-huh. This John is a, doesn't do anything but brilliant. You should have thrown well, this in the Garbage. Who's that rustic lady with the deep voice? That I mean, is, a, my God, I hope she looks better than she sounds. She looks man. terrific. She didn't Does do she a really? bad job. But she, she's got, she's great for the part. She did a great oh. job. She was very convincing. But the, the fact of the matter is, what they had Gorilla do is not funny. Right, right, right. And that right. is John's. Well, you know, I would have had him I, rolling I, all I, over I the floor. I would have had him playing anyway. with himself. Oh, please, I would have had him doing. All, pretend to play with yourself. Roll on the floor in the mud. Your ideas are better than John's. Well, thank Gorilla you. Gorilla wouldn't have done that. What are you talking about? You don't with himself. So you, so you ended up getting nothing. So what did you get him to do? And he's not ready to face that either. A stuttering John. I should have known better. You, a, a you know what? Let me tell you something. I should have known better because yeah. whenever John comes to me with a bit and stuff, like it's like the listeners come to you with bits. They play him for you on cassette, and uh-huh. they're never funny. Yeah. Right. You're always hoping that something will be funny. Oh, that's yeah. And I got completely confused by that, and I said, well, gee, it sounds like a great premise. Uh-huh, How could it be uh-huh. bad? They got, they, and he says they got Gorilla doing wild stuff. Right. And I was in the middle of a phone conversation with Betty, for uh-huh. my, the director of my uh-huh. movie, uh-huh. and I said, holy cow, you know, John really... Excellent. Somebody's coming through. I even went up to my wife goes, boy, John is okay, man. He went out and did a bit on his own, and he, right. he executed it, and it sounds right. remarkable. Oh, I can't wait yeah. to do it. I can't wait to go in this morning and yeah. do the, the bit for everyone. Okay, yeah. And meanwhile, it was awful. He needs to be screened uh, for all his work before Thank you. he does anything. Thank you. Thank probably. you. You're absolutely right. But i got to right. commend you. I'll tell you something. You made stars out of nothing. I right. Mean, he's not well, that's star, what my dad I, always hey, says. Hey, hey, dude, what the hell are you doing, dude? You what are you doing? Hey, shut up, John. No, screw it. Yeah, why don't you talk over this guy so we can't understand anything? All right, great. Great. I mean, you're definitely like 
amazing seriously. individual yeah. because I would have never thought of turning somebody like John. Uh, well, that's what my dad always says. Strategy that you did. Yeah, my dad always says you take. Strategy. My dad says you can take total nobodies and make them and into, make something. Them into something. something. Right. Absolutely. Thank you. I mean, that's a gift. We need more agents like you out. So your wife is talking in the back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. All right, Howard. All right, bye bye. You don't know the one. <laughs> I have to say, you have to stop blaming John. You sweetheart. have to read the script. Because sweetheart, sweetheart, I get him stay out right. of this one. All right. All right, I like yeah, it. Yeah. You know, don't you understand? It's they better for him to beat me up. You know, right. the script, the script, Yo, the script. It's be- you think I'm doing this as a if bit? If it's on no, the I page, think, it I should think that be Howard, on if, the screen. You know, you, you know, I mean, there, you, there's a lot of things that was in there for him to do. He was supposed to cry. He's yeah, but he didn't do it, John. All right, but I can't, I, I couldn't John, be there. To John, f- John, John. That means you didn't rehearse the bit with the people properly. You didn't take your actress and run her through it. How come you, you end up being the goof? Supervise then, and then you could have called her out and said, "No, you got to do more than." He this. had to go be home to take care of his wife. No, I couldn't be there because it, it was it was a twelve o'clock audition for you know grill. I had to stay here, and 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 and, and it would look really weird me leaving no. early. Well, all I know is you wasted a lot of people's time. Nah, I don't think so. It's not funny. It's just not funny, John. Well, well John, you know, John, I'm being dead. You know what? I know honesty sucks sometimes. I'm telling you, this is not funny. Fine. There isn't one person who thinks it's funny. Were I'll take you random laughing? phone calls. I, I, didn't laugh. I never heard it. But were you listen you were listening just now, you didn't laugh. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. John, you mean you never even listened to it? Oh. Doug pulled it off from oh. a last night. You're on the air. Yeah, I like to say that John is the biggest moron alive <laughs> and uh his air shift sucked on Saturday. Oh please. Oh you but he did an oh yeah, I heard about that. What'd you do? An air shift? They gave you an air shift? Uh, yeah, you saw another long story. Yeah, I heard I heard that was bad too. Wait a minute, this was this past Saturday? It's yeah. the last two Saturdays. Was it really every, bad? Every Saturday, no. Corolla was bad. I I, I kind of dug it. I'm sorry. You did, you it's did. not bad at all. I, it was John being John, and I thought it was kind of cool and casual. It's Green Day, man. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't even play uh, Green Day on Saturday. Well, we have to pull some of that. I didn't know he was doing an air show. <laughs> uh, please, I think I've had enough John on the air to, today. <laughs> not today, right. necessarily. You're on the air. You know, Howard, this is just John being all insecure. He doesn't want to involve anyone else. Well, it's, no, it's John thinking that he is a funny guy. Well, well it's John just trying to. Because listen, he Grilla called he, Gary that night. If Gary would have known. Gary would have. You know, I wanted to. I wanted because I I knew Grilla would, would. You know, I start calling people and I wanted everyone. All right, All right very you know, good. Okay. No. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on, John. If you involved other people, it would have been funny, maybe. But he can't do that. You had a great idea, sir. Well, Howard, you know, the, you know, you know. I mean, does anybody all, think it was funny? Howard, I, I wouldn't involve him because I wanted to be a surprise anyway. You know what I mean? I wanted to yeah. be like. All right, well, you know. we have a big surprise. I just did a half hour of the worst radio of my life. Oh please! Uh, He's yeah. a solo artist. Well, you're a genius, Howard. At least you made it funny. Well, Thank yeah, you. Okay. Oh, I had to do something. I had to come you clean to and say this it. isn't working. What am I going to do? I said, I let this guy go off, and I forget it's amateur hour. I, I start to think these guys know something. Yeah. It reminds me of last week when Gary came in and said, I have the greatest phone call ever. Yeah. And then we listened to him, and we were like, what is he talking about? Well, it's like when Gary writes me a note, but Gary knows to check with me. Yeah. Gary wrote wrote me a note. He goes, both, I got a girl in a kayak who wants to call in, and she's going to call on her cell phone, and we could talk to her about breast cancer. Yeah. Interested? Hey, Howard. Interested? Otherwise, we could wind up on the phone with the girl in the kayak. And then Jackie just writes Gary back a note, saving me a lot of precious time, and says, listen, you moron. I'd rather, I'm going to go take a dump, which is more important <laughs> than sitting and even acknowledging you. Hey, Howard. Yeah. But I've done a lot of good practical jokes that you have liked. Like what? Like uh, Gary's phony phone call with the uh, stockbroker. Yeah. You like that? Everyone thought that was great. See, John, you can only go so far. You just expel all your energy on the idea. Right. You came up with a good idea. Sometimes John comes up with good ideas. He has ideas. But, John, your execution is bad. I just, you know. John, the- John. What? It's not funny. You went through five days of work on this. You went through an elaborate setup, and there you got nothing out of it. What, what's funny is John went through all this trouble. What's even funnier is he still insists on thinking this worked. I didn't think it was that bad. You know what? But, but what is else, good about it? At first of all, you can't even hear it. That's well, another I, thing. Well, I can't be responsible for that too, yes. Howard. But yes. you, that's why you come to me, and I have it set up properly, mm-hmm. where I sit down with Scott Einziger, and, and I go, Scott. Since it's, a, since it's an audition, you can have your camera in the room, you can have her mic, you can have gorilla mic, it, we should be able to hear it clearly. That's my job. Hey, I, I asked if the audience... Imagine if it came off fantastic and we couldn't hear it. 
Right. You could have had him dancing at a G-string. But, I, I but, but I, please, of course, we would have said, we need to see your body. We want you in a G-string. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Just listen, the, the, the phone callers have better ideas. Shave than you. your butt. I'll shave you. Uh, come on. Yeah. Come on, please. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. And, and, and then. Well, I'm, wouldn't it be great to reveal the scam with Mind Grillo you guys, Grillo thought 95% of it was a goof. I see. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 so what you ended up doing, convincing him it was real, but not making it fun. No, no. It was trying to be, find an equilibrium. I'd rather you blow it and make it funny. Right. It was trying to find an equal ground. I see. Well, you didn't find it. And Admit real. you didn't find it. It's not. I thought it was funny. Einziger, is this funny? Well, <clears throat> I, not to jump on, but I did have a brief conversation with John, and I said to him, I don't really get it. I don't see what the payoff is. Right. But also to represent Ian, technically, I mean, Howard's right in a way. I mean, normally we have a lot of time, and we go through all the scenarios, how to do it right technically, and this was really rushed. Yeah. Like, yeah, only because just... Grillo was on on Friday. He could only do the audition on, on Tuesday or Wednesday because he had the movie shoot. Yeah, but, 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 but Scott, yeah, I mean, but first of all, yeah. you've done this long enough. Yeah. Put some microphones in the no, room. No, I mean, you're right. But again, I'm hearing echo all it, over the place. It was, it was really rushed, and uh, I'd rather have one, listen quickly. to me, I'd rather have one funny second than 10 boring minutes. Eight. There's plenty of funny seconds on there. Really? Wait, okay, Howard. I'm going to play it again. And play Grillo singing. That's, gonna, that's, okay, I'll play it again. Right. That was a chuckle. A chuckle? It was nothing. The guy sang fine. What oh. did he do that was so embarrassing? i got to take a break for spots. Then we're going to listen to this tape. No, yeah, I don't care. I, I, don't, know what? I don't, don't care either. Throw it out. It's yeah, horrible it's work. It's fine. One fine. point I have I just can't believe here. you think this is good. I, I, you know, I think it's okay. Why don't you admit it sucks? I'm not going to admit it sucks. You think this is good? I, yeah, I think it's good. Okay. Howard, just that, for... I have less respect for you now than I did before. Howard, you were laughing at it. I'm, I, I swear to God right he now. He was working I it. was working a laugh. That's a, Play the tape back of me laughing. I'm working a fake laugh because I'm going halfway through this. I'm going, hey, I just sold this to my audience as being a great scam. And now. I'm We're not, all sitting here wondering what to do it with it. Go? Where is it going to mm. go? Where is it going to go? And then I'm going halfway through. I said, I better just admit to the audience that this is just didn't work. Yeah, because right. we keep going and the big laughs aren't coming. I said, I'm not about sitting and faking, you know, hysteria over something that is. I'm, this isn't uh, bloopers, bleeps, and blunders okay. where they okay. laugh at anything. But one point I'd like to and make. And I put my ass on the line, too, because I set up Gorilla, and I'm yelling at him. How could you leave the movie? Yeah, the ba -ba -ba. disloyalty thing. Disloyalty yeah. thing. And he was like, hey, I just did a regular audition. And he's right. He did. He did nothing wrong. He did nothing to embarrass himself. You see, he's not embarrassed. He's not upset. He's not anything. What's great embarrassing? Yeah. It's great. He it might so get a great. part out of this. You might get a part. You were pretty good. Yeah. John wrote a script that not only wasn't funny, it was nothing. Where do you go, half a fag. No, that that wasn't like the humor of it. It was. It was. It, it, what is the humor of it? Explain it to me. I wanted him yelling, him crying, him singing, him. Qu well, where is quacking. any of this? Howard, I wasn't he's not crying. He's not quacking. He, he sang for two it, seconds. But and this you know what, you know what Howard? It says it in the script. And so he's yelling, Daddy. And he yelled, yeah. Daddy. That probably wouldn't have even been that funny if he cried. I'll, you know, oh, no. Please. No, I mean, so he cries. Yeah, get him to shave his ass. Yeah, that's funny. Get him to dance in a G-string like the guy said. Yeah, That'd be anything. great. Anything. Get him to roll around on the floor dance. This is with a I mean. rubber doll. He would have never have danced in a G-string. Well, you don't know he how to do it. He would have done anything. No, he doesn't get John what doesn't understand that what you do is trying to get him into a situation where he does something spontaneously to embarrass himself. If you're saying stand on your hands, let him kiss another man. Hand, this, let him fun. kiss another no, actor. In the script, he was supposed to take off his shirt. He didn't even do that. Yeah. So oh, then that's you So you tell him to take it off his shirt. You guys got a great build. What is he? What is he going to be embarrassed by? I don't know why he didn't do it. I would have been glad to. Taking his shirt. Excuse me. Sure Excuse me. Well, what is embarrassing example. when you about have a great when you have your a shirt. great physique taking your shirt off? Hmm. What is embarrassing about? Well, I'm that? just I'm giving you an example of the things that he wouldn't do. That would be embarrassing if John took. Well, that shirt he wouldn't do it. You got to you got to tell the guy take your shirt off. John still doesn't get it. No. No. I, listen. Listen. And the other thing you don't get is that Fred, Jackie, both professionals, Howard, a genius, still run things by each other. Mm. They don't trust their own judgment. Yeah, I'm too insecure they, to do that. Robin, nice. just, to, Robin just to correct that statement. I trust my judgment. Is Jackie and Fred? I don't trust. Okay. Right. You know, you're I've, Robin, them I've by done, I've done right. a okay. lot of practical jokes, people, and, and most of them have worked. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just my thing. I do it. When you do stuff on your own, it can't, sometimes oh, it might casually work. It's never killer. Howard, you've liked a lot of Oh, stuff. come on, come on. I stole the Gary puppet. I know. And who and that, made it funny? Yeah, me. You didn't do anything with it. Oh, oh my God! Uh, yeah. I, you know, I only, I only oh. totally convinced Gary. I knew nothing you, about. You're, you want, you are, you're good to go do stuff. Oh, fuck. You're not funny. You're good at wrapping your mouth around Howard's questions. Right. 
You know when you're funny? When we write you questions and you ask First them. First of all, I've written some questions that, oh, that you've liked too. So, right. So, you, you know, uh, that's right. Put that on the record. But do you Howard. run them by me? Do you what? run them by yeah, me? Yeah, I run them by and do, you. And do I cancel out some of them and keep some of them? Yeah, and a lot right. of them a lot of you, them. You, 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 you are Jerry Mahoney. A lot you know what of Jerry Mahoney keep. is? You know what Jerry Mahoney is? What? What is Jerry Mahoney? You it's know a puppet. It's a puppet. But puppets don't That's you. Howard, I, what is it, Doug? I hate to do this, John. He probably won't talk to me for a year after this. Uh-oh. But right after we when we went through this, what we're going to do, I said to him, and, and Einziger said, don't you think you should run it by Jackie and Fred? And John didn't. Well, yeah, let me I tell you something. No, no, I'll, I'll Gary, came in, Gary came in with the tape, and I said, Gary, so is it great? And he goes, well, well it's okay. It's it's pretty It's all right. It's the all right. Was definitely yeah, and, I was, and then I saw, because Gary usually raves about everything, right. and then I went, uh-oh, what am I playing here? And I said, ah, how bad can it be? They scam gorilla. Right. Right. Yeah, well, the, and I'm listening to it. Only because I wanted it to be a surprise. It was like a surprise, uh, you know. Yeah, well, we are surprised. surprised. You surprised me, all right. Well, you know, I thought it would be, I thought you it would be a good great. surprise. You did you. great. You did great. Surprised himself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is that? I, I don't know why you people want to admit that you laughed as soon as you just Of course I did. I'm trying to sell it to my audience. Like, Robin, no, you laughed. So Honey, so I'm a lot better actress than you. We hey, were laughing at the premise. I was waiting for something yeah. to laugh at on the tape. And I got to admit, I laughed when he said Josie because I'm just sitting there going, well, you said Jose. I got to let. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're telling the joke. So full of it's really anticipation. not there on yeah. the tape. Yeah. It's yeah. not there on the tape. There's it's nothing. coming down hard. Sweetie, I mean, there's nothing funny. funny. I know. My right. dear, you honey. thought it was too tough on Gorilla. That's why you didn't get the performance. Honey, was, okay? if you would have saw him sweating. Honey, let me tell you something. Hey, Howard. Let me, wait, was... excuse me. Let me say something to you. I struggle long and hard to get where I am. Take a look at my face. You don't win people on beauty contests with this right, face. Right, right. I've struggled long and hard to get where I am. The, uh, the only reason I've gotten to where I am is everything I put on the air, I believe in 100%. Right. I bust my right. balls. I'll bust my balls, do something, and throw it out if it sucks. Because I'm not going to rip my audience off. Hey, Howard, you know what I was laughing at was this chick's so, voice. i got to tell you something. Oh, come on. Don't i got to tell you something. You're a sweet girl. Don't get me wrong. But this is a bit. And you don't understand what we do here. That is not professionally done. Not by you. It has nothing to right, do with right, you. Right, right. It is not professionally done. It is not a funny bit. It's college radio at best. Even if it was funny, we can't hear it. Yeah. Well, well, well that you can't blame me for. I don't, all I know is if I'm involved, you'll hear it. I asked, I, asked, I asked Doug. I asked Gary I said, if it was funny, and I, he goes, no. I asked Doug if it's going to be audible, everything's going to be fine. He said, everything will be fine. Well, th- that's E. But that's not me. E, e has to be also checked. You understand? Yeah. I know, but, you know, I, I mean... There are- Everyone has to be checked as far as I'm concerned. When I go to the trouble of lining a guy up for five days, I make sure everybody's in line. What about a dry line. run? Of course. Do a dry run. I say he fell. You say what? He fell. He fell for it. It went down. He fell for what? What did he fall for? There's nothing funny. He went to an audition. audition. He went to an audition. There's nothing funny about it. Yeah, he fell for it, but why not? Why wouldn't he fall for it? He didn't have to do anything embarrassing. People auditioned in my movie did 10 times worse things. Howard, can I just say one thing? In the back of Girls Mind and Gorilla, you could attest to this, he thought it was a scam. So... If you yeah. started doing too many goofy things, he so would then why bother doing it? Well, I tried to keep it out of. Thank you. He had him convinced mm. that it was real. Yeah. yeah. Oh please. And then he God. didn't do anything with it. Please. But even if I would have. Right, listen, listen. John listen. Glad, listen. Glad. Ladies and gentlemen, in my yeah, audience, yeah. my audience of 50 million I, I, people. I, I, I'll excuse me. I, no, no, no. I want to apologize. I'll, it's I'll my fault for putting this on without. I'll apologize. Sorry. I want to say no. I'm going to turn off your microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, I nine times out of ten, you know, I I try to hit a home run for you. What happened here today was, last night I was in the middle of a phone call. John called me, got me completely revved up about this bit. And I really should have listened to it beforehand. I didn't. I thought it was so, I thought it was such a great idea. That that it couldn't go wrong. That it couldn't go wrong. And what has ended up happening is I turned my microphones over for three minutes to John. And I, it was the worst three minutes of my life. And I apologized to my audience. I've never been forced to apologize for anything I put on the air, but that I apologize for. I am never, sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I have I apologized for the first time. That's okay, this Howard. Yeah, I never in show history. There should ne- there's a sad day in show history. John forced me to apologize. <laughs> sad day in show history. That's right. Hey, John, I got a good idea. Would you do a scam for me? Oh, okay, Just do this one. Okay. Redeem yourself. You know, you know what? I, you know what? I want you to cut somebody's lawn uh-huh. and, and then tell them that you're not really a landscaper. That's good. Okay? <laughs> Howard, you know what? Okay. You know what? Be, but, but fool them. At the very... Right, at the, thank you. At the very least, right. it shows initiative. It shows, you know, you know, doing something, you know, right. for the you show. Can leave, yeah, you did something you know for the I mean? show it, all it's, wrong. No, no. It, it just... It, it's, Fine. Thank you. Admit when you're not pull funny. Pull the motivation right out. Admit me. when you're not funny. I don't think it's not funny. No. Motivation is good. Properly channeled. 
John, if you were a good guy, you just admit it. You should have checked with professional writers, John. What does that say? It says failure. Wear that on your head. Okay. It would be better if you just admitted it. Put a dunce cap on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should sit him in the that corner. That would be even funnier. <laughs> sit him in the corner all day with a dunce right. cap. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, Bill will get the final word. Bill, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering why he didn't uh, just take it and then tell him, uh, tell him that he was going to um, you know, redo it. Well, see, yeah, see, we could have done that, yeah, but you those said, guys hey, told me it was good. Call him I back a- for a second audition. Right, I asked Doug, was it yeah. funny? Doug said it's funny. I said, oh, Doug is now Johnny Carson? Doug Do you said, think Doug knows what's funny? Look at Doug. Doug said Einziger thought it was funny, so I assumed that it was funny. Einziger thought that was funny? Yeah, so then uh, because Can't they said that, that. then I... Fun- Einziger knows funny. Else I, else I could have called Gorilla back for a second audition. You should have shown it to Robin Rodzinski. Maybe she's the only one back there with any sense. Yeah. Einziger, you thought that was funny? No, I'm losing faith in you. As I said before, when John originally told me the idea... Doug told me after you saw it, you thought it was funny. I didn't say it well, was funny. That's what Doug said. I said there's no structure to it. There's no narrative structure to it. There's no setup. You should have had Grillo do some improv. Something. There was, some, there was nothing... All right, well, well, Doug told me that you thought that it was funny. That he, Doug said that you were laughing. No, I, oh, I, you should have heard John on the phone to me last night. The scam of the Raven. century. Raven. Oh, I wish you would tape that. That got, might have been funny. Oh, I got caught up in the whole thing. I said, boy, this kid's great. But it, I, I, I kind of the back of my mind said, had his rave, and then we could play this piece of crap and say, what are you talking about? I know. And then in the back of my mind, I said to myself, wait a second. You know, why is this kid going off and doing this on his own? Why doesn't he come to me? But all right. Hey, hey I hit a home run. What do I care? Yeah. I always do these jokes on my own. I I, 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 don't, don't do them on your own anymore. Could you at least go to Jackie and Fred? All of them, all of them aren't going to work to, uh, you know, to your I you see. Know, he, he only wants taste. to prove to me he could do it on his own. Well, that's it. I would have been more impressed if you can't do it with a good as, idea. Uh, I don't like telling anybody. A virtuoso. When I do practical jokes. Yeah, virtuoso. I, I don't all right. Tell anybody when all right. Do listen. Things. Thank you. You, you're fine, ma'am. You don't, you don't know what I'm talking about. This is not to do with your. You did what your director told you. Told what you did. What your director told you. You're a fine actress. I got the problem with this gentleman over here, Stuttering John. Yeah. Don't worry right. about it, Sharon. It, you know. Ishkak Melendez. <laughs> Solo artist. Solo artist. Absolutely. Solo artist it, extraordinary. Ishkak. The Rachmaninoff. <laughs> yeah, the Rachmaninoff of, uh, of, of stutterers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Gorilla, thank you. No problem. All right. No problem whatsoever. Nothing well, anyway, I, thank I, you. Anyway, I apologize, but... Mm. A- apologize? Actually, He's thanking a- you. Yeah, a- actually, Gorilla, I'm the, uh, you know, I'm the one who gets the bad end of it, so you win. Thank you. You didn't embarrass him at all. Hey, here's, here's Danny with the final word. Go ahead, Danny. Hi, Howard. Yeah, final word. Go ahead. That was like having 10 minutes of the best oral sex of your life, and then the girl gets up and walks away before you even finish. Exactly. Oh. It's called it's called blue balls. That's it. Thank I you, mean, sir. left you hanging. Thank Comedy you. Hey, now. Balls. What? <laughs> Comedy blue balls. Comedy blue balls. I'm <laughs> stuttering John this morning. I, I was so excited waiting for the big punchline, and it never came. Yeah, of course. And I'm sitting there. i got to admit, I halfway through, I'm laughing because I'm desperate. I'm trying to sell it to my audience. I said, what am I trying to sell this to the audience? This is another well, one of I, John's you know, dumb moves. In the middle of it, you're like, hey, what, what is this? You know, yeah. he's reading a script, and then they say, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. He's going to start any second now. Yeah. So you keep going, and nothing ever happens. And happen. they start him over again, and nothing happens. They're all trying to be stars. Right. Thank you. T- take care, Al. This is terrible. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible bit. You got it. I give it a D. A, at least I passed. A for effort, D for uh, for execution. You know, he got an F for execution, but it yeah. averages out to a D. <laughs> yeah, all right. right. All right. <laughs> there you go. Thank no. you. Okay, Ron. Yeah, you passed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Thank all of you for a great job. Thank you, Sharon. You did a great job. Sharon was fine. I have no problem. Sharon really was great. Sharon is very nice. I, I like Sharon. Involved. Sharon, who are the other guys who were... Uh, Billy Otis. Oh, oh, you're going to give people plugs now? I want to thank no, them. No, no. All right. I don't think... Sharon is the only one who gets a plug. Yeah. Fine. Sharon, we can find you in Tony and Tina's? Uh, actually, Tribeca Lab downtown. I see. Okay. Well, let me say something. You're fine. You did a very good job. Thanks. No problem with you. You have to see the tape. Oh, you have please. to see the I know, I know. You, you feel bad for John, but don't worry about I it. Don't, I mean, it, I thought it was very The, the joke was on me. Huh? Not on, on Gorilla. On me. Well. Okay, geez. thank you. We got scammed. Okay, thanks. The audience was scammed. All right. You want me to hear it again? And I'm gonna hear, yeah, I want to hear you know your what? tape you know, again. No, 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 because you're not no. going into, you know, with an open mind. It's, 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 you know. Why don't you go back to doing what you do best, which is ordering breakfast? Ordering breakfast. All right. No, I, I already did that one. You're a great waiter. Yeah, you know. All right, thank you. I should never let John put stuff on the air without me hearing it first. And I, John, and you should really consult me, Jackie, and Fred. 
But then the, then you don't enjoy the joke. Yes, we yeah. do. Believe me, what, we write tons of stuff where we enjoy it. I just think, I just thought it would be, you know, Yeah, well, like don't, a don't, don't because you're not a professional comedian. Oh, please. You're not funny. Okay. He will defend this to his death. I know. Listen carefully. I'll let everyone hear it who just woke up, and then I don't want to talk about it ever again. Hey, you know what? Ultimately, we got two E shows out of it. It's beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Fine. Because I figured out what to do with it. Oh, please. Hello? Hi, is Steve there? Hey, this is Steve. All right, I don't want to hear this part again. This is where they call Steve and set him up that's for the audition. The phone call that's, setting it all up. That's so unfunny, I don't even want to go through that. Okay. They set him up, and they said, we would like to have you come down to an audition. And Steve said, okay, I'll come down to the audition. That was the big joke. They got him. They got him. But you know what that does is set you up for, oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Yeah, but that's what I thought. Yeah. I was willing to sit through that the first time. I'm not sitting through that again. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why you played that for me. I just, you know, it was just, we, I had it on tape. In other words, like, do you remember that porno call I did the other day? Gary yeah. set him up for two days, but we didn't play the setup because okay. it's not funny. That's number one. I thought that you wanted to go through the, the actual. Uh, yeah, well, the if there was a payoff, yes. Okay. There's no payoff in this. Hi. Hi. So Steve walks into the audition. Make yourself comfortable. I hear some walking. Uh, yeah. That's the clearest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just have some fun with this. You can stand, sit, whatever. Why she isn't mic'd and why he isn't mic'd, I don't know. They probably have some hidden microphone right, somewhere. somewhere. It's an audition. You can mic people. There was just one little what? There was just one little camcorder there. Right. That, that's it. <laughs> when this first started and you heard their voices, didn't you assume they were walking over towards microphones? Yeah, I didn't know. And I just, no, I said, oh, my God, the whole thing's going to sound like this, and we're going to be struggling to hear it anyway. And they don't realize people listen to radio on small little radios in their cars. And they've got traffic. They're yeah, yeah. It's, there's stuff. all kinds of distractions. So now we're going to be struggling to hear this bit, but it must be killer if they got a guy to aud audition. Okay. We're starting on the second page, right? Yeah. I, I promise my audience, I never would have played this for you had I heard it ahead of time. Never. We had never seen the light of day. Never would have seen the light of day. I think you reiterated that enough times. Okay. I think we can. You think, I'm, you think I don't have to say that anymore? I think what we did all. He just I, say? I think we all know. I that. think he tried to say reiterate. <laughs> okay. I think he reiterated all... that. I think we all know that. I don't even know that that's the proper <laughs> use of that word. I think we reiterated that. I think it is. <laughs> Uh, enough times. I think you reiterated. <laughs> instead of, re instead re of making a fool out of Gorilla, you made a fool out of yourself. Ah, fun. Five it's days. Fun. It's all fun. It's a goof. Right. And just have some fun. Okay? Could you say your name, please? Steve Grohl. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Boo! Who's that? Frankie, Ma. What'd you think? Donald Duck? Frankie, stop your playing around. I need you to look after Maria. Don't worry, Ma. I'm Frankie Polonka. Polonka? Is it Polonka? <clears throat> Don't worry, Ma. I'm Frankie Polonka, Lord of Flatbush. Ashford, Ashford, I mean, I mean, what is funny Frankie, about I'm this? Serious. Ma, Marie's only going. Ma, Marie's right, only he messed going up out the line. Gabon. She's a slut. If your father was alive and heard you, what then? Ah, huh? what then? I can't even listen to this. But Howard, it is so unfunny. It's John. It is so oh, unfunny. Wait, wait, wait. I don't even know how you think this worked. Because. I mean, because you, you, right now, doubt you. right now he would have been qu quacking. Yeah, but but he didn't. I know. So then, how could you play this for? Where are the laughs? I didn't hear. He's it. saying, "Oh, he's supposed to be quacking here." Uh, he well, 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 he should have been. Yeah, but, but John, I was should have been know, isn't I, on the tape. I couldn't be there to tell him to quack. But John, but you're saying this is funny. Where is it funny? You, no, you, it would have been funny, is what no, you're no. saying. So far, he should have been quacking already. His shirt should have been on. So how is this funny? No, but, well now he's and now he, and, I, and, I, and now he's gonna start screaming and oh, okay. I, 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 you know what? I'm gonna play this again to prove to no, you. No, stop from here. He would have been alive. <clears throat> he would have been alive. If you haven't nagged him so much. Why don't we start again? Now yeah. we're gonna go yeah. sit through this again. That isn't funny. Well, I didn't. I didn't listen to the tape. So listen to it. It's your bit. What are you sticking this on my show for? Because I can't. Because Grillo sees me in the morning. It was like I had to let. Doug, so then go Doug in the Doug afternoon. Go somewhere. I don't know. So have someone play it for you over the phone. I have, this is my first audition. I've never it's a terrible right. script you wrote. Let it loose. All right, have fun. Right. Okay, you're still on. Whenever you're ready. Boom. Who's that? Frankie, Ma. What'd you think? Donald Duck? Frankie, stop your playing around. I need you to look after Maria. Don't worry, Ma. I'm Frankie Polanco, Lord of Flatbush. That's bad. That's bad. Please, no more. Frankie, I'm serious. Ma, Marie's always going out with Gabon. She's a slut. If your father was alive and heard you, what then? Huh? What then? He would have been alive if you haven't nagged him 
you so much. This is like a, I don't know. What is funny about this? What am I listening to here? Listen to a guy act. Yeah, and he's not doing so bad. All right. You spend five days setting this up, and it sucks. Again, John's not laughing. No. Isn't it so funny? Oh, like I'm in the uh, any position to laugh now. But you tell me where the laughs are. Y- you know there isn't. Uh, you know, listen, if you don't like it, I'm... R- do you, you know, like it? To be honest with me, do you think this works? I had wished he would have done some of the things that were on the script. Yes. Right. That's not yeah. what he asked you. Do you think this worked? I th- yeah, I think it worked. You think it worked. Okay, I mean, so let me continue playing. Until you admit to me that this didn't work. If you cut the... the no, no, no. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play this. So edit you tell the moments me. that I think work. Okay, tell me the moments. I think that it works when he sings. All right, let me hear. Let's I hear it. I hate this. Here we go again. I say something, you cry. Too much guilt. I can't take it. Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? You bastard. You took my daddy. You took my daddy. All right, so he says, took my daddy. Is that the joke? Well, he's looking at the ceiling, yelling, where's my daddy? I think that's funny. All right. I mean, it's a silly line, but it's not all that funny. That's good. Okay, and she says on? to him, that was good, and he's done. Um, and this was it. Okay. I, 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 I could have been out the what door at this point. You sound like half a fag. Better than a whole fag you are. He doesn't fag. sing. He got a little fuck with you know, a little I mean, what Jeez. am I hearing? Unbelievable. Huh. You want me to fast forward? No, that's all right. You all right, know, right. Let's keep playing. Of course you can. I even faked it when I was all drugged up. Come on, Marone. I can't imagine what it sounded like that. Oh. Oh. Jose. Jose. Oh. Oh. You're a devil. And, and she cuts him off. So now we were going to get to something Even funny. Even if he's doing something, is, she doesn't work him at all. Like, I needed to be more real. Do and that's something. my fault. Well, yeah, you of know, course it is. It is your fault. This you is gotta, your bit. It's your bit. What are you doing? You got to tell her what to do. I don't. She doesn't I, know what to I, do. I, I couldn't be there to tell her. You yeah, know, but you got to tell her. You got to rehearse yeah, her. I, I, I told Why her. Why would you spend five days and not re- Now you look like the idiot. No, but I think that's funny of him moaning. I think it's funny. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Yeah. Here it is. Here's the funny moment. Here's what you think is funny. Five days you, don't you think spent. That, you yeah. think this is funny. Jose. Jose. Oh. Jose. Oh. You're a devil. I can do it again if you want. Okay, good. Good. Thanks, man. We'll be All calling right. in a couple of days. See ya. Wow. He's out of there. See, but I, I, I could have left. I could have grabbed my bag and left. Luckily, I just I was talking to one of the actors and they asked me to come back yeah, in. I would have been Doug out the was door. There. Doug was appreciate there to tell us. And now here's the big he's, funny he's singing moment. With, uh, oh, if you put it in this context, it's not going to be All right, I won't put it in this context. What context should I put it in? It was funny here. Can I tell my audience it's funny? It was funny hearing Grillo saying war pigs, but it's not funny hearing him saying... Yeah, it's not working. Okay. But I'm acting. He's singing... Um, he's brushing his hair and singing. Yeah, let's have some fun with that. I'll, I'll walk in on him. Okay, I'll yeah, it's, it's not too big because it's, yeah. you know, just... So just uh, whenever you're ready... I don't know what she's even saying. It's so it's so, um, it's so murky on the yeah. sound. She's yapping away. Everyone's... Hey, forget it. You don't know this don't work. There's something wrong well, with you. Well, let's play him singing. All right. I mean, I got to sit through all this to get to the singing. Well, and, and have, have some fun. When is he going to sing already? Right here. Uh, 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 stay alive, stay alive. Hey. You don't like it, you know. I'm sorry. You know, Good, I, I, you know, Good I, job. I, you got it. Good job. All right, I'm not going to take any more phone calls on this. Okay, thank you. You want to read those faxes? Stuttering moron, way to go. You just brought the show to an all-time low, you stupid ass. Fly to the Everglades. You are not funny. Sincerely, your pregnant fiance. That's good. Oh. Howard, suspend John for one week. Don't let him near a microphone or camera. Teach him a lesson. Worst half hour I've ever heard. Bill. Hey, Howard, that piece of S that John called a bit has driven me to confess. OJ. John's a dud dud dummy. <laughs> Dear Howard, concerning the plane that crashed in the Everglades, how come no one has found any heads? Oh, this Oops. isn't about John. <laughs> Where are all the heads? Please comment. I'll comment later. That bit ranks up there with Geraldo opening up the Al Capone <laughs> safe. That's, That's right. A That's a good one. That is good. Yeah, I like that. That's it. They're endless. I mean, I'm not going to go on and on and on. That's the, the tone of everything. You got to write funny stuff if you're going to go to the trouble having a guy embarrass himself. Uh, you know, listen. If I was to do it again, I, I would. I would. Ho- I was just would have really had Grillo do these things, you know, yeah. more. And right. you know, I, I, well, I, yeah, I, don't do me a favor. Don't try out on my show. Talk to people if you have a good idea. I don't. I don't mind good ideas. I'll listen to good ideas from anybody. But don't, don't act as a lone gunman. Okay. I was going into this ready to do almost anything. Of course. 
but you also called you wanted the, the part. Put it this way. I thought it was a whole scene. Well, yeah, but, 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 but put it this way. Checked when, out. Why would someone go to the the, the the like the trouble of setting up phone numbers? And All right, you know what? Let's not, we went through this for a half hour. Let's not get into yeah. it again. All right, thank you, John. You're welcome. John Kishman took us around. <laughs> All right, great bit. <sighs> You're funny, I got to tell you. You're a funny guy. Hey, it was a funny idea, right? It was a funny idea. So it came from a, f a, f a funny person. Right. And you made it very funny. Hey, I couldn't be there. To, I couldn't do everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's not my problem. Don't put it on my show if you can't do everything. Thank you. I, I mean, if I would have heard the tape, I would have I cut it down. <laughs> oh, I bet you would have. There would have been two seconds of tape. Right. <laughs> oh, Jose. Oh, Jose. That would have been the tape. Uh, uh, uh. Staying alive. Staying alive. Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? <laughs> I, I think that's funny. Okay. Well, why don't you go back and recut it? Yeah, recut it so it's funny. Oh, you know here, what? go ahead. Here. Take I have no head. desire. I mean, no, now no, come it. on. Get you it. say it's funny. It's recut it. Robin, it. are you kidding me at this point? Here, take the Please. tape and recut it. Make no, it funny. I refuse to. Here. I refuse <laughs> to. <laughs> don't worry, Mom. What is it, Ralph? Want to say something? You know, it was just interesting what John just said that... Uh, he said, if I was going to do it again, I would have done this and I would have done that. He still wouldn't have consulted Jackie, Fred, or you. No, no he no. never He never will do that I, because he's the funniest own. guy on the planet. I, I didn't say that. Yeah. I said that I just like to surprise you guys. It's like, uh, you know, doing something well, that you guys you. don't have to work on. Just, just, it's just, you know, like, you know, something that comes in. That would have been great. You know what I mean? But it's Jackie not funny. Have to be but give me something funny. Now, now, now I got to bomb. Why doesn't he surprise us and edit that tape so it's funny? Yeah, here's the tape. No, I don't. No. Here's the tape. That's Go what Gary just funny. said. He told John to edit it and give it to him. All right, here. Nah, I'm not going to do it. Here, here it is. Wait, I, wait. I have no wait, desire no. to. No, 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 no. I want to hear what's funny. No, forget it. You're right. It's not edited. Right. No. Yeah. no. I, it, right. That's the problem. Here, here's your tape. Howard, I'm, I'm not going to edit it. Go edit it. It's, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it it's fine. It's, 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 you know, it's, it's a dumb bit. <laughs> then you're saying it's not funny. So, no, so you admit it's not funny. A done bit. It's done. Yeah. Or dumb. No, done. I know you Do you still think it's funny? What? You still think it's funny? I think that yeah, I think it's. I, I, then I, I, edit I, I, I don't, so it's Do I think funny. it's drop dead funny? No, but I think it, I think it has some funny. Give it a scale on a scale of one to ten. What is it? Mm, seven. A seven. Oh, okay. oh. What's a six? What's a six? I would love Jackie to know. Jackie stand-up act. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> All right. Thank you, John. Put it this way. It's funnier than Jackie's star search appearance. Okay. Why don't you edit know. it and narrate it? Th come on, please. I don't know. Fix it, John. Fix it for you're us. You're a uh, movie maker. <laughs> yeah, you're a filmmaker. Produce it. Right. No, that's fine. You, you know, you're done. The bit's over. All right, thank you, John. You know, and, and I, I, I would appreciate you. You don't have any two e-shows out of this. Right. Come on, I still contributed to the show. You did. Thank two e-shows out of you it. He doesn't job. have any confidence in it. He just won't say no, it's not I think, funny. No, I think. No, I won't admit it's not funny. It didn't go. I have other things. There's a girl here. What is it? Didn't the last like bit that John tried to pull me bomb pretty much? Yeah, they're all bombing lately. because Doug, Doug totally told you that it was a scam. Always Doug. No, I had a scam for Grillo, and Doug told him it was a scam. All right, that was a good one. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye, John. Are Goodbye, Gorilla. Yeah. Good. Bye, Ralph. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> Ralph, how lame was that bit? I think if you heard that, you I'm, know what? When, when I was sit, when I was sitting back there, the morning zoo does better. We're all this. in the e room, you know, kind of looking at each other, going, you know, I hope this gets funnier. Yeah. Poor you know, Ralph. It, is subjected to Smelly James. Yeah. And then, you know, he's got to take him into work and listen to his bad bits. All the interns come here <laughs> and, and they decide that since I put them on the air, they're going to now create. Yeah. And John's still an intern. is not funny. Yeah. So now he's uh, he's, a, he's a good guy at getting stuff for us. Done like it again. breakfast. Everybody thinks they're you. Yep. Every, Ralph and I were talking about this morning. But John does. He hey, has people let me, let me walking around in the yeah. street telling him how funny he is yeah. because he asks the questions that are written for him. Right. He, well, you know what? No. <laughs> right. In fact, I was on the movie set. This girl I'm working with really gorgeous. She goes, man, Stuttering John's really funny. He uh -huh. asks some really funny questions. Yeah. And, I, and I always go, yes, he's very funny. Right. Hey, Howard, I've written questions, too. Yeah. I've done well, who writes the majority of no, the hey, You know what, Robin? Let me tell you one thing. Who writes them? Howard, you wrote five questions. No, that's not true. And Howard, How don't insult us, John. No, but even, even in the old days. Written. John, was, John, right. do you write the questions? Come on. Yeah, we let you write a couple who of questions. Who created Stuttering John? Who created Stuttering John? Yeah, that's a, answer the question. That's a tainted question. A tainted, a tainted question. Who created? Well, it? I've been I've I've been stuttering John all my yeah, life. and who so thought to do anything with you? What do you mean? I did. I went. Oh, you did. I went to film oh, school. Okay, uh, film I mean, school. I mean, who who well, who? How many movies have you who made? Who let me do? What movie you know, are you in? What? What movies have you been in? What? 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 John. John, you. Uh, 
I, you yeah. just said something that struck me as funny. What? You may have stuttered all your life, but you haven't been stuttering John all your life. You've been stuttering when John when you got here. Gary, when they say stuttering John, I'm taking it as that... Have I been me all my life? Okay. Did you did you and did you yes, know what to do with uh, stuttering sorry, John? Well, they called me stutter face in those days. But I'm the sorry. character stuttering but John who is a Howard creation. Who, who, did you go out on your own and start asking questions? Is that how you got here? No, no. I, yeah, of course Howard had me go out and ask questions. I'm not saying that. I'm I, delusional. He, the, this is this is why he I gets said into the question was tainted because said who he, started. He was John exactly because, you know. what you said. People say, oh, those questions. You, what you asked is great. And I think John's getting a little carried away. John's starting to believe that he. Uh, I'll He's give those questions to someone else. I'll make them funny. Before I even started here, yeah. I made funny films. You I did? Films. Where? Where are these films? You know, you know it, it's just... Go. Are those the films we saw on the bus? Here we go. <laughs> you didn't see any films on the bus. Uh, I saw the films we on the bus. We saw Jessica Hunt's cleavage on the bus. Oh. No, I saw the tour bus, Please. and I saw your films. Are those the films you're talking about? Howard, I want to show those films on E. You see? Einziger, I don't even have them anymore. Where are they? I don't have them. I'm showing them. You Why have them. Why did you get rid them. of such masterpieces? Can we have yeah. a film? No, but it's just, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like the point is, I've always Well, I want to play those films on E. To be in comedy, so it's not like... Oh, I see. You know, it, it isn't like I came here and suddenly... You know, I did something fun. You think you know, would have been in comedy? Yeah. Oh, Smelly you James I, I, has a desire to be in comedy. Sure. I think I. You think I, you're I, any different than Smelly James? Yes. You do. Yeah. Okay. A lot of stuff uh, that I've said has been funny on the on the on the really? airwaves. Okay. Without you, you know. You uh, should let James do an act, and you should write his material and see if he's funny. Yeah. Then we'll make James be funny. funny. Yeah. Be funny then. We'll teach but, him how to be and, funny. And, and you know. I don't know. That guy might be hopeless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you know what? All right. That can't be. All right, John. John, you're living. You're living in a deluded Howard, world. I went to film and television school. We all did, For John. one reason. Yeah. For one reason. To, 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 to make my own films. To make my, or, well, we were on these or, films. You know, or, or How can you throw them out? Own. Why would because you throw them away? I made a big mistake. I came here to work, and I, and I, and I guess I should have just, you know, you know, you know, right. you know, you know, pursued that. But I thought this would be a great way for me to get into television. And by the way, on that note, let me just say <laughs> one thing. You have all these actors in, in, like, television sitcoms. Do they write their scripts every minute? No. No. They perform well. Right. Even if what you, have you done? Even if you were to write... All the questions. Yes, I I perform well. I do them well. I I have a personality that you seem to like think? for eight years. Yes, you seem to have like uh, you know. You have a great personality. Yeah, but the difference between it's a those, funny personality. Those actors and you what? is they still know they need somebody to write the questions. They don't all of a sudden. I think, never said no. we're the funny guy. No, uh, no. Listen, all right, listen I, to me. John, listen, I thought, I, you did a bit. You know, I've you learned a lesson. When you do a bit, or you want to do anything. Consult Jackie, Fred, and me. I, I just wanted to be a surprise, you guys. You know yeah, that, that no, means no the surprise. Do you surprise? surprise would, the surprise would have been that you came up with a good idea. Let Scam Gorilla doing a phony uh, audition. It's a great idea. That would be good enough, John. That was good enough. It, it, okay. It's, it's, no, you know, if it's fun. He's Ralph Cramden. John, I, I thought right. Ralph Cramden. You he, should talk, Jackie. I thought, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, you're talking about you wanted to go to film school and do all that stuff. I thought, like, music was your thing, or not. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love music. Like, if I had, to choose, everything. If everything. I had to choose between music, and, and it, 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 it would be very, it would, it would be like choosing between your brother and sister. I mean, it's very difficult. Uh, you, know, you know, listen, Ralph, I'm sorry. I love a lot of, you know, uh, you know, uh, creative things. <laughs> what have you Jackie done, Ralph? Sorry. Jackie is holding up a sign, a rat in a corner. <laughs> Ralph, you know, it's funny. What have you done that was so creative? I'm, I'm just curious. And uh, besides We're writing in fan mail to I Howard. Do, I do creative things, but that's Ralph got the, the job because he was an obsessed fan. No, that's not why. He's, Howard, he was writing in letters. He's good at doing makeup. He was and writing in And he, ma he does incredible uh, molds of people's faces and can actually do... Um, Captain Kirk. <clears throat> if you're going to say that, John, Ralph is you. Yeah, okay. Right. Ooh. Ralph's pretty talented. I'm not saying he's... I'm just saying that, he, you know, he shouldn't comment, you know, on, like, other people's... Uh, <laughs> I should, but John, let me just say one thing, and don't get mad at me because this is just honest. And I'm not yeah, saying you know, this. I don't, you know, go ahead, Ralph. Yeah, go ahead. I I just think that you're a little insecure. And, of course, I'm insecure. And, but I'm very. I'm not a little okay, insecure. Okay. I'm very insecure. Okay, but that, that's that's what the problem is. If you had just gone to every, you just want to take all the credit yourself. No, There's no, nothing no. Wrong with I help. like to. Howard doesn't even take all the credit for the show himself. No, 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 He's got Jack no, and Fred and Rob. Wait a second. Everybody. Wait a second. If you would have just gone, to <laughs> no, these come guys, on. You don't think that's right? What? You think I take all the credit for myself? I think that. I always admit that we have. People on the show I were funnier than I am. John, problem, John, it was a great problem. idea. It was Ralph a great... has hit 